Hey everybody, welcome back, Maul here. Today, I know that I said in the other videos that I was gonna wait for people to make requests on doing certain featured heroes, but I wanted to make this one today. I've been receiving some questions and comments about whether or not somebody should take Luena compared to um, Milena or Arco. And so, while I haven't gotten any specific requests for this, I want to showcase Luena in depth. I did showcase her in my video, uh, looking at all of the soul exchange heroes at the 20 level, 20 souls. But I want to do a little bit more in depth so that you can see really what she does, how useful she is, what situations you can use her in. Let's look at her card here. She's a very simple hero, so there's nothing complex. She's fast. You can see her attack stat here, 795. I don't have any emblems on her. I did have her maxed out in emblems, and I used her for a little while, but she really became dated pretty fast, so I took the emblems off of her and put them onto another hero. Now, I still have her in my back pocket here, while I don't really use her now, she has a, her special, which, you know, blocks talent skill activation for all enemies for six turns. She's the only hero that can do this, and it seems like it should be a really good talent, but at this point, at the point, let, let me say, at the point where I removed her emblems, there were no talents that I felt it was necessary to block them. There's no heroes that change the tide of a battle because of their talent. Even fighters that respawn, you know, five or six times in a row, very seldomly does that cause you to lose the battle. With only one hit point, you just throw an off-color tile into them and they die again. So, I, I, I didn't have a good reason to keep her in my starting lineup. So she got dropped down to, um, let's call it like my second string bench. And so in the soul exchange, you know, I, when, when I rank or when anybody ranks the, the heroes in there, it's really a question, I guess, of how many souls is that hero worth? And, I would say that Quartz and um, Kara and uh, Luena here are, are definitely worth 20 souls. Uh, no doubt. They, they all have special things about them that make them very, very useful in certain situations. But L Milena and Arco, I would say they're probably worth realistically... 25 or 30 souls they are in my opinion at a higher level that they're at a different tier than the other three heroes and so i wanted to show you guys luena in action here uh the superior t talents with the new co second costume for season one heroes that can be troublesome there are some superior talents that are pretty good. The superior dodge and the superior revive and some of those, you might consider using Luena to block those talents, especially because she blocks the talent skill first. So if you have a fighter at the tank position that is extremely dangerous, I think, you know, SG had a plan with um, Gossick. He originally was a fighter, and Milena, or I'm sorry, Luena came out before, or right about the same time as Gossick, and they were starting to give a reason to block talents, which was you know Gossick dies with full mana, respawns back and hits for 700 damage, hits the, your entire team. That gives you a reason why you'd bring Luena into a battle, specifically against Gossick. But 
Gossip was too powerful, not enough people had Luena, and so they changed him, made him a, a barbarian class instead of a fighter class. And so um, it just never came to fruition where the talents became a part of the of the battles or of of the um what am i trying to say here never became a a part of the talent set between the passives and the special and everything else that became problematic or became powerful in its own right the talent grid is always just remained something that is just a little bit extra. So, all that being said, let's, well, okay, so, and then she deals 260 damage to all enemies. 260 damage, that's great. That was really high when she first came out, and she came out at average speed. Then she was literally, she was, her card, when she was new, was outdated after the first day that that she came out because the power creep was happening so fast there that they had heroes in production that they hadn't released yet that were getting outshined by heroes that were being released at the same time so if you look like guardian panther yeah not everyone has panther but um we've got a fast hit all at 285 percent damage so, when we got Louie here, she has dispel buffs from all enemies and then deals 250 damage to all enemies, and then they all get 20 minus 24% defense. So, of course, that's at average speed. So, let's look at some other hit all 290, so Bex at average speed, and can't be there, bypasses defensive buffs. Um, I'm looking for other that are just straight hit all. Because even Khufu chains, which is not really a hit all. Um, Gossick is a hit all. Where'd he go? Of course, he's slow. I'm trying to find some fast hit alls. I guess there really aren't a lot of them. So let's just see what she does in action. Because you really can't assess a hero by the card. You really have to see what do they add to your team. How do you create synergies with other heroes and, and uh, use them. So this is the team that I use her on. This team um, has a good overhealer at average speed. And... The one-two punch from Sobek and Luena, they're both hit-alls. Uh, El Duke gives the, you know, he's very fast and will usually go off a turn before Luena. Unless you have like a huge cascade. But you can still fire Duke first and he'll do uh, the, the minus 9% defensive stack. Gives Luena a little bit of extra punch when she hits. And then I have Black Knight here, who usually goes off the same turn as Luena and will also buff her up a little bit and give her a little bit of extra punch. So this is a pretty good team. It works pretty well with her. So I'm going to go into some battles and show you what she looks like in action in depth here. Okay, I found a good team here. Uh, here we have Mother North at a flank position. She's green. It's a good reason to take a red, a primary, primarily red team here. And we have two heroes here that have superior talents. So we've got Aslar. And the reason I'm looking at superior talents, of course, is because we're using Luena. And she blocks these talents. So what are we getting for using her as opposed to somebody else in this battle? Is, is the question that we're answering. So, plus 50% chance to get plus 25% defense for two turns after receiving any damage. Um, and if it's triggered, allies recover 10% health. So, this is going to be triggered quite frequently, because literally any damage. So, 
probably he'll probably have this plus 25 percent defense most of the time and you could be looking at a plus 10 percent health recovery mm, probably once every three turns he's gonna have oh and nearby allies recover 10 percent health okay so 50 percent chance every time he's hit to heal the, the heroes next to him so bjb here probably didn't read the talent completely because Aslar should be put at the flank position there with June being in the wing so that uh, Aslar has the, would have the ability to heal both Pengi and June. Now here's <clears throat> something that you're not going to like is any monk here has a 50% chance to resist negative status effects and Luena's ability is a status effect. So it can be countered. Even though it's the first thing she does, it will be blocked by a counter. So that's what this is. Um, that means June has a 50% chance to withstand her blocking his talents. And then if he does withstand it, uh, the hero attacks the caster with 100% damage. So other than that, there's nothing else special. We're taking reds against a green flank, against Mother North. And we'll jump into battle here. All right. We want to charge up Luena, of course. Let's take these two matches. In a situation like this, I want to take the matches that I've got and fire Pengi before there are any other minions out there. This side of the board is more problematic for us, so I'm going to start whittling down on that side. It's time to get a heal going. <laughs> Alright, that's good. I'm not really playing to win this. I'm playing to showcase Luena, but I, I have to keep my team alive. Well, she took a shot from June there. Took 915 damage. So in this battle, she's got 929 defense. That's with a, her troop on. June is a little over 1,000 attack. Let's get our defensive specialist up here. And we'll try and make some matches with the reds, so we'll manipulate the tiles that are around the reds there. Alright, we've got two stacks over here on the left side. We're going to... Five turns of minus 40% accuracy. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see what we can... see if we can hit anybody here. So we'll fire her off and... All right, so you saw 440 damage from Luena, and that's with a minus 18% defense on those two, which is just not that impressive. And this is not a video that's meant to, to dog on Luena, but, you know, the reality is that I have her, and I, you know, I took all of the emblems off of her because she wasn't useful for me. So I forgot to watch here, but um, June withstood the, uh, the talent block because he doesn't, it doesn't show on him here. <clears throat> so right there is one of the problems.
you know, with a, with a special skill like that, I would expect it to be able to bypass talents or something like that. Let's... Okay, that Lena charged up again. Let's fire her off and see how much damage she does against June with 800 and, I mean, what's that, 24? That's, that's really low um, defense, so let's see what she can do. 392. All right, let's uh, find another battle to go into here. Here we are with another team. Again, this team has two um, Season 1 uh, C2 costumes. So we have plus 35% chance to revive. So here we'll actually get to see um, she will not be able to revive if she gets hit for six turns. And... Elena here, plus 30% chance to dodge direct damage from offensive special skills if this effect is triggered. This hero and nearby allies get plus 15% chance to dodge special skills for three turns. So this is great because she can dodge the damage from Luena, but she will still take the ailment, which means that um, Luena will hit her with that ailment first, and that will block her ability to dodge, so she will not be able to dodge even on the first hit. So that's that's a good one. This team in general, the way that they're set up, is not ideal for my color scheme here, but we're going to just go in here and see what happens. Um, I do not want to start by charging up Ludwig, so... Um, it doesn't look like we have a lot of matches. Okay. Take the blues because I have a feeling just the way that the reds are spread out here, we're going to need to heal soon. You notice how squishy Lewina is compared to the others here. That's something that really can't be ignored. I have C2 of Leonidas and while his special is great, it seems like he should be useful on every team. He's just so squishy that he dies before I can use him in almost every battle. So I have that now that internal debate of do I limit break him in order to get his stats up a little bit higher, try and keep him alive a little bit longer so that he can get healed before he dies. Um, but I don't want to waste limit break materials. Is dead. Let's end this and start over. Okay, we're going back in. I just can't seem to get favorable boards just to showcase Fluina here.
Let's just try and get rid of Ludwig. It seems like that would be the best. Uh, the Wayne is going to get killed just by a shot from Liana. Yep, she's dead. Okay. Might be able to have something here. Good, we got rid of Ludwig. Okay. Now we have Luena with plus 54% attack. Let's, and we got some defense down, so this is about as hard as you're going to see her hit. And then you should see that her special should block Elena before she can even have a chance to dodge. And now you see her little icon on there, you cannot activate talent skill, six turns left. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the damage there. Now we have a chance to, she should kill um, Vivica here. And I'm gonna pay attention to the damage on the others as well. So 540 against Elena. That's about as hard as, of a hit as you're ever gonna see from her. That's with the plus 54% attack and the minus 9% um, defense. And she didn't actually kill Vivica, so let's throw some tiles into Viv here. And you see, she just dies. So it's nice to not have to deal with the the respawning, but in the end, I don't I don't know that it's worth it to just to stop that revive. By the time you're killing heroes, you know if. If you have Luena, then you probably have a decent roster. And you're, if you have a, a decent roster, and I'm not talking crazy, I mean if you have at least one event hero on each team, probably one hero from Season 4 or Season 5, then at the point where you start killing their heroes, you probably have momentum you know the tide is moving in your favor at that point and killing heroes that respawn um, is usually not difficult even if it's kill hair and she respawns and you know slaps your whole team even if she kills two or three heroes it's usually not enough to change the tide of the battle there but I suppose it could I just don't think that bringing Luena is the answer to um, kill her or if, if they happen to have a, a fighter that could be problematic I usually there's other ways of dealing with that there's so many heroes in this game that using Luena to try and stop the, the revive the, that respawn is just not the most effective um, way of doing that so Let's see if we can find one more battle here. Here we have a team that has a C2 hero with Leonidas. His talent is 60% chance to bypass defensive buffs when attacking. This includes counterattacks. If this effect is triggered, the enemy receives 285 bleed damage over three turns. So. Um, let's edit this team a little bit and maybe put in a counterattack hero. Wait, I passed him. There he is. Because if you're going to use Luena, then you 
you have to be able to create some sort of synergy. So we're going to take a counterattack hero in this team because the way that defense is built, there's a lot of damage coming at you and um, the ability to count to bypass counterattack is a is an important skill. So let's jump in and see what happens. Close here. Fire Drizuri, so they lose their cleanse. One thing I really like about Esme is if she charges early, I can just go ahead and use her special skill because she overheals. So I don't have to worry about, you know taking more damage in order to make the heal more effective. Alright, we're almost there. Yeah, unfortunately, it just took too long to get the red. Jump right back in here. Take the blue match. Hopefully, a red comes up in there. Nothing yet. We'll exploit the weakness on this team, which is having a healer up front that doesn't overheal, and doesn't deal damage. So we'll throw, try and throw as many tiles as we can into Zuri without charging anybody else. Try and get our board right. This team is very dangerous. Okay, well, they're about to fire, so I, I don't want to negate the... See, I should have swapped, I wasn't thinking, Sobek and Isrod should have been swapped around so that um, Black Knight would be covered with the counterattack. But Black Knight is not a good hero to take with Isrod because he'll half the time reduce the damage down to one. I, that's what I really don't like about Isrod is I wish they would have made him in a different color because like his four star counterpart is purple or dark, which would have been much better. Uh, I wish I could change him to dark because, you know, it's he's cool to pair with a um taunt hero that way he doesn't die and the enemy just keeps hitting the taunt hero and taking damage just black knight's the wrong taunt hero but we'll go ahead and use him now we got the counter attack up and i want their hit alls to hit that counter attack so we'll fire luena 300 and some damage to each enemy out there. So this is a good example of what she does in real life. Without a, da a, a attack buff, without um, defense down, that's a straight shot of what the damage that she deals is going to look like. So yeah, let's let's let them start to fire off and. Let's do this. Set up that diamond. Panther killed herself. 
Leonidas almost killed herself. Oof. All right. Let's rematch this team one more time. Again, I'm not really trying to beat the team. What I'm trying to do is show you Luena. This is a very favorable board for what we're trying to do. Oh, I forgot to swap them around again. It's all right. This time we will use Black Knight before, and now we'll fire off Loena. Now you can see with that plus 54% attack, it got her damage up to the 400s. And they've all, now none of them can use their talents, so no defensive buff. You got no um, ability to pierce and plus 35% chance to resist any negative mana status effects. So um, I heard someone likes to pair Luena with Lepiota, and that's why, because Luena can block the the mana. Um, I'm sorry, not the mana, but the um, cleric ability. And then Lepiota can ghost them without having them stop that. But... It's just such a clumsy mechanic, you know, to try and block their special ability before you um, ghost them. It seems like an awful lot of effort. Too many things have to go right in a match that if, if stuff is going that well for you, you're probably destroying their team anyways. Just want to give Luana the last shot here. Three hundred and seventy-five damage. So there you go. Um, to summarize, I would say that it, it, what you've seen over these videos is Loin is a little spongy, so a little squishy. So keeping her alive is problematic, especially when you're running like I do with only one healer and one defensive specialist. With Luena in there, you almost want to have your defensive specialist almost, instead of being a taunt hero, needs to be another healer. So, and then you got to look at the benefit. So she doesn't do a lot of damage, and that means that her special ability needs to be dynamic. I mean, that needs to be something that is game-changing, and at this point, blocking talents, just it's just not important enough. I, I chose teams that had the most impressive talents in the game and it just doesn't matter in real gameplay the way that it seems like it could on paper so that's it that's my assessment of Luena she's not a bad hero I think that she probably is worth 20 I didn't show you her on defense of course on defense the um, the defense has a 20% defensive buff so Luena does more damage on um, on defense than she does on attack, where she'll hit you with about 350 damage on attack. On defense, she does closer to about 500, 550, something like that. So she's not a bad defensive hero, but I tried her on defense for a while, and it didn't change my wins, my win rate. So there are certain heroes like Cleopatra. I just... I noticeably win more um, war defenses, more war battles on defense with Cleopatra in than I do when she's not in, in certain types of war. With Luena, it just seemed exactly the same, you know, what I would expect. I got one-shotted one or two times, I get two-shotted one or two times, and it's hard to tell because I can't see the fights, so I don't know what Luena's doing. And when I fight her, Against when I fight against a team that has her on defense, I don't, I don't do anything special for her. I counter 
any other heroes they have that are powerful, but I just let Lewina do her thing, and it's usually not enough to to help their defense win. So um, that's it. That's my assessment, and I hope this helps. I hope I got this out soon enough that the this in-depth assessment can help you in Soul Exchange. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.